sorry that you have to see the mess and the chaos that I currently live in. Here also knows Fancy Dinosaur Tea Party and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm actually gonna go thrifting. I have not went thrifting in um, a month and a half and that's because I just had no money, but also like it's not really financially responsible of me to be going thrifting like every single week to buy like more clothes when I have so many clothes. What's great about like taking a really big break from thrifting is it really makes me look at what I have and what like I actually need. I started a new job, it's just retail, nothing fancy. There, I can't be wearing like any graphic tees. I also work in the back room sometimes, so I can't be wearing any sweaters because it's a lot of like physical work and uh, it gets too hot with sweaters. And if you know me, all of my wardrobe is basically grandpa sweaters. I can't be wearing grandpa sweaters to work every day, otherwise I will die. Today is actually going to be a very responsible thrift haul. It's not going to be me buying random things and I say this now, but who knows what's going to happen. But anyways, I need to go and buy some just plain t-shirts. I'm kind of going through through my emo phase part two right now. Um, I haven't been really wearing color except for wearing my, like, you know, my yellow jackets. I don't know, it's just a phase I'm going through again. So I am gonna go thrifting and hopefully I'll find some good things. <laughs> So I was really hoping to find more men's plain t-shirts and they just didn't have a really good selection. And then I saw this sweater and like the sweater itself was so cute, but like it just had to have writing on it. And then this one, like, it was neat, but also like, I, I just don't know how to feel, I don't know how to feel about this. Okay, so I didn't find as much as I wanted to there. There was some really cute stuff and I had more in my cart than I buy and there was some like here's the thing if i could try them on i think i would buy more things but because i'm like hmm, this looks a little small i'm just not gonna do it because i don't want to have the hassle of coming back here and returning it just don't want to do it i did find three items and usually this value village is like a hit or miss for me like it's my favorite value village and either i'll come out with a lot of things or i'll leave with like nothing or like one thing and there actually was this really cute shirt i don't think i took a video of it because i was like a hundred percent sure that i was was gonna buy it but I only saw myself wearing it with like one outfit and it was eight dollars that wasn't really an outfit that I was gonna wear anytime soon so I just said no to it so I'm gonna go on to another thrift store which is just down the road and see if there's anything there Okay, so store number two, dud. I knew it was gonna be a dud. It's just one of those things where, I don't know, very rarely do I find something in this Goodwill and I just knew that I wasn't gonna find anything, but it's just like the thought in the back of my head that I'm like, if you don't look, something might be there. There was nothing there. I am gonna go to the next thrift store, which is another Goodwill. I have somewhat good luck there, somewhat. We'll try this other Goodwill. First, I'm gonna get myself an ice cap because I need one right now. I'm gonna go to get an ice cap and then Goodwill. At this Goodwill, they actually had a lot of really nice sweaters, but they were all $8 each and I just didn't have the money to spend on everything. Also, I just, I don't know, I haven't really gotten into tie dye, just not my thing. These three items, I they just didn't really fit well, so I didn't get them and I was really disappointed that this yellow sweater didn't fit me. Okay, so the third place I went to actually worked out pretty well. I found some cute things and guess what? They actually had their fitting rooms open so I was able to try stuff on. I'm really glad because there was two items that I was like 100% sure that like I was gonna buy and I tried them on and I'm like, no, they just don't fit me right. I was able to buy something else that I kind of like a little bit better but I'm like iffy on but what's great is that I have seven days to like try them on and see if I really like them because there's this one item. It's this item here, which I will show you when I do the thrift haul, that I was iffy on because it's not the typical style of dress. It is a dress that I like. Well, I want to see like how I would dress it up and if I like it, I'll keep it. If not, I can return it. I'm on my way home now. I did get my ice cap and then I'm going to film what I got. All right, I am back from my thrifting travels. I think I found some pretty good things. A few things that maybe aren't work related because I went thrifting in the mindset that I'm gonna find work-related clothing. I went to 
a value village and two goodwills the one goodwill was a bust didn't find anything in there didn't think i was gonna find anything in there so i'm gonna start off with the stuff that i found at my first location which was value village the first thing that caught my eye and let me tell you i'm pretty sure this would catch anybody's eye because of how bright it is i know it's it's a lot. I really like it. It's giving me like Freddy Krueger vibes, but more vibrant Freddy Krueger vibes. The brand is called United Colors of Bennington. It's 100% cotton. It is made in Italy and it was $9. It was $9. But I just thought this was really cute and it is kind of giving me Christmas vibes. And to be quite honest, a lot of this stuff is very Christmassy, very wintry. I didn't really realize that until I put it all together and looked at it and I'm like, oh, I definitely went with a theme today. I definitely could see myself wearing this to work, especially like, you know, tucked into some jeans. I think I can make this one work. And then also while I was there and you probably saw in the footage, I found like a lot of other things. It just wasn't like, oh my goodness, I'm in love with this. Like, oh, I can see the potential in it, but also I don't know how many times I could wear it or how it's gonna fit. And at the Valley Village, they don't have their fitting rooms open right now so I couldn't really try things on and there actually was this really cute top that was so adorable I realistically only could see it with one outfit combination so I just decided not to get it and then I went into the men's section trying to find some t-shirts for work didn't find any but I did find this really cute sweater vest and the brand is Dockers and it is $6.99 I'm pretty sure sweater vests were really in like in 2020 and even in 2021 but I don't really follow the trends when they're trendy sometimes I do like making cardigans that's very trendy right now either I'm ahead of the trends or I'm behind the trends because I don't like the trends when they come out but like you know they kind of grow on you and I just never really thought of how I could wear a sweater vest and I'm like Michelle you have so many turtlenecks I could just pop a turtleneck underneath here with turtlenecks sometimes when I wear them they're just way too clingy like here and I don't like wearing them by themselves but to wear them underneath a sweater vest, I think that would look really cute. I think on camera this is picking up more brown, but it is a lot more green. Like this is more of an olive green and it's looking more brown. Green, brown, I will wear it all around. You know me, I had to have an impulse buy impulse buy. The brand is, I mean, it's Northern Reflections right the price was $4.99 which was great because it was under $5 if this was any more than $5 probably not I mean if it was $6 probably if it was $7 probably but I'm capping it at eight if it was eight dollars there's no way I would have bought this it has the turtleneck it has like this scenic winter thing with mountains and trees yeah I think that's like a newer tag for northern reflections so this is definitely probably from the 2010s I can't see it being any older than that it is giving me 90s it's giving me 80s vibes ski chalet vibes I definitely had to buy this Okay, so that was from Value Village. Now I'm going to move on to the second Goodwill, which I don't know. I'm actually surprised of the items that I found there. And I kind of wish I would have went there first because I probably would have bought more items there. But because I already spent a good amount of my budget, I budgeted myself this time at Value Village. I wasn't going to go overboard at Goodwill. The first item that I saw that I'm like, okay, you know, this isn't going to be a bust. I'm going to find actually some good things was this just plain men's t-shirt. It is George Walmart brand. It was $5. And it's just kind of like this forest green color, which I really like. And it's super soft. It's not like worn in soft. It's like the material itself is just nice and soft. So I just wanted something that's plain that I didn't have to like worry about. And if I got it dirty or whatever, it's fine. But also something that would look cute, like tucked into some jeans. What I really like is how blank this is because I really could do anything with it. And what I would love to do is start doing like little embroidery patches. I really love the t-shirts, mostly they're in men's. Cause if you find a women's shirt, they'll say like no bad vibes or love or peace. I want like something cool. Like how cool would it be if I embroidered like a little like evergreen tree, a little, a little Christmas tree type tree i think that would look so cute the next item that i saw there that like was okay i'm finding some good stuff was this shirt here turtleneck stripes it's like more of a purpley pink than a pink pink the brand is called saint john's bay it is in a size large and it was eight dollars i like to go to value village first because this could be a 4.99 shirt at value village but at goodwill they kind of have their prices set t-shirts i think are five dollars and long sleeves and sweaters and stuff are like eight dollars regardless of what brand they are value village could have this 
for $12. So it's always a hit and miss. Anywho, I saw this and I thought this was really cute. I think I can wear this on its own, but like underneath a sweater vest or underneath my pinafore dresses like the black overall dress that I had made. I didn't make it on the channel which I probably should have. I think this would look super cute underneath it and I mean eight dollars isn't bad for this. I found another shirt kind of similar to that and I'm just like I need this in my life. I found this. I think this is just so adorable. I don't know. I mean, it's just so cute. Again, it's a turtleneck. The sleeves are really long. The only thing is like these are just a little, a little tight on the cuffs. But if I wanted to, I probably could just cut the cuff off and sew it up, make it, you know, fit better. But it still fits. The brand is Basic Editions. I don't know what size it is because the size label has been cut out. It says it's a large and it was $8, but I've never seen anything like this. When I see like these type of like, you know, little turtlenecks, they're usually plain or they have stripes, but something that's like plaid, kind of Christmassy, but I think I can get away with it like all year round. The last item, which I talked a little bit about when I was in the car, is something that I wasn't, like I'm not 100% sure on. Like I am 100% sure on that it is adorable, that it is cute, that I know how to style it, but I'm not 100% sure if it fits me right. This dress right here. The brand is Northern Traditions. You know I'm a Northern Traditions gal. And it does say it's a size 15, 16. So it is a large. The reason why I need a large is like maybe I don't need a large like up here, but like my hips, I'm going to need a large, especially because of the way the dress is cut. I mean, there is a little bit of room and it does have like this little kind of feature on the back. This is definitely giving me 90s vibes and I love this. Like, don't get me wrong, but it's just, I'm not 100% sure it's gonna fit me right because when I wear this type of skirt like my butt will stick out and then a little bit of my tummy will stick out and I just don't like that look on me that's why I like my a-line skirts it's cinched in at the waist and then it just goes out and it just hides everything so that's kind of why I wasn't too sure about this but I love this color plaid I love the brand the buttons are adorable and it was $12 so that was another thing that I was like Ugh, $12 the $12 for a dress isn't bad it's not great for me but it's not bad compared to like if you go shopping at like not a thrift store but I definitely can see myself pairing this with some cute tights a nice turtleneck. I probably could wear a green turtleneck, a blue turtleneck, a black turtleneck, a white turtleneck. Like the turtleneck options are endless and I think it's adorable. And I'm actually going to include a bonus item which I bought back in October and it was a singular item that I had bought and I was actually going to include it in another thrift haul but I forgot about it. So I'm going to go get it because it is one of the most amazing things that I've ever thrifted. I thrifted this mirror. I thrifted this amazing mirror. I know you're seeing all the junk. Look at all the junk behind me that I just haven't put away yet. And I know the mirror is a little bit dusty, but it's been in the camper since I bought it. So I haven't really cleaned it up. I do want to put it inside because like it can hang on the wall. And like, this is heavy. Like I'm pretty sure this is plastic, but it's not like the chintzy plastic you see nowadays. And then I just... I want to be very delicate with it. So this is the back. So it's made in the US. Like you can just tell just by looking at this tag that it is vintage. It's not really giving me the year. It's telling you how to hang it up. It does say this is a Turner wall accessory. Would you like to know how much I paid for this beautiful mirror? $10. This mirror was $10. And fun fact, I actually bought this at the same Goodwill that I bought all those other clothes that I bought in this thrift haul. So technically it's kind of included because it was from the same thrift store. Sorry that you have to see the mess and the chaos that I currently live in, but I had to show you this mirror. And that will do it for this thrift haul. This is the first thrift haul I've done in a while and I had to get it out of my system. I haven't really bought anything for myself in probably two months. If you're new to my channel, you like sewing, crafting, but mainly thrifting, why not subscribe? You can also follow me on my Instagram, which is Fancy Dinosaur Tea Party. I think that is it, so y'all have a good day now.